This year, every one of the members of the New Jersey State Senate and General Assembly and the Governor are up for re-election. That makes 2013 a big year in New Jersey politics, and as always, auto retailers have a huge stake in the outcome. The state legislature and public policymakers and judges appointed by the governor control or regulate just about every aspect of your business as car dealers. Taxes consumer affairs regulations, franchise laws, environmental controls, motor vehicle policies and procedures, banking, insurance, the list goes on and on. In JCAR, staff members, legal and outside lobbying consultants, pore over proposed and existing state statutes, rules and regulations to ensure that dealers and customers are treated fairly and equitably. Legislators and responsible public officials actively seek out NJCAR for its input on key government decisions that will affect the car business. They do so because they recognize the dealer's expertise, because they want to help, not hurt the auto retailers, and because they view dealers as a potent political force in the state. That political power is derived in part by the fact that CARPAC is one of the largest and most active political action committees operating in New Jersey. For the past decade or more, CARPAC has ranked among the top 10 political action committees doing business in Trenton and raising and distributing nearly a half a million dollars in the 2010-2011 election cycle alone. You wouldn't send a technician into the shop without a full set of tools. And we can't send New Jersey car staff to the State House and expect them to get the job done without first equipping them with the tools that they need to be effective. That's where CARPAC comes in. Over the years that I have served as CARPAC chairman, we have raised and contributed more than $3.5 million to legislative candidates. Those contributions have paid enormous dividends for new car dealers. Let's be clear. Every special interest lobbying group like New Jersey Car has a right and a responsibility to make their voice heard in Trenton, to work to shape public policy to our benefit or at least to minimize harm. CARPAC contributions don't buy influence. They ensure that your point of view will be heard. And we know that when we get a chance to make our case, more often than not, good things happen. Ray Burke and the CARPAC committee affiliated with NJCAR have set an ambitious goal this year to raise $400,000 before Labor Day. The coalition's annual meeting this year will coincide with a CARPAC event at which candidates vying for CARPAC money will be invited to meet with dealers to discuss issues of mutual concern. CARPAC will be reaching out to new car dealers across the state with an urgent appeal to get involved and help support NJCAR's political agenda in Trenton. New Jersey election law allows corporate, personal, partnership, or LLC contributions. The only restriction is on the amount that any one individual or corporation can contribute. Keep your eyes open for this urgent appeal from CARPAC and dig deep to help support the political action committee that supports the dealer's agenda in Trenton. NJ Carr, thought you should know.